All right, guys. So we, we talked, uh, Molly, let's, let's jump into pull and play now. So pull and play is kind of our term where um, basically we kind of came up with this years ago where we felt like if, if somebody was going to be in bob protection, we were going to try to take advantage of that by actually physically, they're going to block us and hold us, we're going to hold them. And so uh, this is something that you can do once or twice a game. You can't make a living on this, but if it's worth one sack in a critical situation, uh, it was well worth it. So the pull and play concept means this. If, if I'm assigned to get somebody out of the way for my linebacker, then I'm gonna, I wanna uh, button extend them, I'm gonna grab them and I'm gonna pull them for a count of one, then I'm gonna rip off and go uh, play, basically go play, play football. So you don't wanna grab and pull them all the way to the ground. So, and that's one of the ways that you can just go and make a play. So that's our technique of pull and play. We can pull and play anywhere on the line. Let me show you our, our most uh, used one. Uh, but we've got several others that we do. This is called torch, and what we'll do here on the pull and play concept is we'll grab him and pull him. This is, once again, some type of bob protection. So he's there, they're man setting on this guy, and then they're eyeing him. Remember our, our bob concepts that we just talked about? And then this guy's gonna blitz from depth, okay? And so I'm gonna grab him and pull and play, I'm gonna grab him and pull and play, and I'm going right there. And uh, that's been very, very good for us over the years. It's not as good, I'm gonna show you on tape, it's not as good um, versus slide protection. So if I guess wrong as a play caller, or you guess wrong as a play caller, and you, you think that uh, it's gonna be Bob and then it goes slide, this guy's gotta kinda climb to the next gap one person over. I actually got a great example of that where our linebacker did that. Uh, but against Bob, it's very lethal. It's pretty much guaranteed if they, it's a five-man protection, it's done. And if it's a six-man, you will get a one-on-one -on -one versus running backs. And we've already shown you on tape that running backs are hired to run, not block. Um, so why don't we uh, go back to the lab and I'll show you guys some great examples from over the years of our pull and play concept um, hurting the opponent. Okay, so welcome back to the lab. We're looking at pull and play here. And um, so you can kind of get set up here. We are working we are working uh, this side here. We're gonna pull here, we're gonna pull and play here, and we're gonna blitz this linebacker right into A gap strong. So let's, let's see what happens here. So the stunt's very effective. Just got to keep contained, got to make a tackle. 